Welcome back to another video. This is the Bookkeeper Master and this is my QuickBooks Online tutorial teaching you all the basics of QuickBooks Online. After this tutorial there will be a couple of tutorials showing you how to do a bank reconciliation on QuickBooks Online and also how to run a VAT return on QuickBooks Online and there will also be some miscellaneous videos things like deleting transactions, posting journal entries, that sort of thing. In the previous video, I showed you how to record a bank receipt from a customer, so how to record an invoice being paid. I'm now going to show you how to record a supplier payment. Very similar to recording a customer payment. To record a supplier payment, you need to go to the supplier module by going to expenses, suppliers, choosing the supplier you need to record the payment to finding the invoice so we have a supplier credit and two bills these are all added in previous videos just like how i showed you to record the customer payment to record the supplier payment just click make payment you'll get a very similar box appear you enter the amount that you wish to pay or tick the supplier invoices and then click save and close. So let's just run through that again. If we want to make a payment to clear this bill and save the payments be made and we need to record it, we click make payment, enter the date of the payment. Let's say it was on the 2nd of February. It was for this bill at 180. If I wish to also allocate the credit note when making the payment, I can do so at the bottom here, so that's 60. So the payment will be 120. If I don't wish to allocate the credit note, just untick the credit note, and then the payment will be 180. If you're not paying the full invoice, just as I did with the customer payment, just change the amount here. So let's say it was 120 that we paid. Allocate the 120 to the desired invoice and then once you're ready, just click save and close. Just make sure that the bank account is correct at the top here and the supplier. So we have one, two, three furniture and supplies and it's from the HSBC current account. This is the account that I added earlier in this tutorial. Once you're happy with all of that, just go to save and close. I understand that I went through this very quickly, but it's just the same as the customer payment. If you've joined the tutorial with this video, I may have gone far too quickly for you. So I suggest just going back a couple of videos, learning how to record customer payments, and then the supplier payments will be a lot easier for you. Now, what happens if you have a payment that's not to a supplier on the supplier list? Perhaps it's a one-off expense or a receipt from Petty Cash, buying some milk at the local news agents, perhaps it's a bank charge, something like that, where we won't have a supplier, a credit supplier on the system for that sort of expense, that sort of recording. I'll show you how to do that in the next video.